Thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's clean with me. I am bringing you two days of cleaning motivation in this video from start to finish, taking down almost all of my Christmas decor. And there was so much to do that I am not gonna be putting away my Christmas decor in this video. I'm gonna be including that in my next video, an organization video. So if you are into that kind of content, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go I would love to have you and let's go ahead and get started so the first day I started filming this video I had every intention of cleaning and putting away all of the Christmas decor but I figured out pretty quickly that that was not going to happen mostly because for me, as I'm cleaning and I'm undecorating, I end up having to re-clean spaces several, several times. So the first day, I'm just kind of putting away all, all of what I would consider to be clutter. And then the second day is really when I get into taking down all of the decor and deep cleaning the spaces. So I started by taking down everything in my bedroom. I didn't have a whole lot up there. And now I'm just kind of clearing out the space under the tree. I had a few presents that were still under there and I also have a bunch of boxes that's what I keep all of my gift wrapping supplies in I wanted to clear those out and put those away and then my fireplace area was a complete mess so I also wanted to give that a good vacuum I end up having to vacuum it again later because that's just real life there was so much blocking and pine needles pretty much glitter everywhere too so it definitely required multiple cleanings So these are all of the little boxes and tins that I keep a lot of my gift wrapping supplies in and that is just a little hack and I had mentioned it in my Christmas decorate with me video that I love to use boxes not just for gift wrapping supplies but they make great decor and so if you are looking for a great way to store gift wrap supplies for next year then get some of these reusable boxes and then they just look really sweet underneath the tree while you are also wrapping presents. Just keep on wasting Might be easier just to let it go So I didn't do a whole lot of decorating in the guest room. I just put up a small little tree here and then a couple of pillows on the bed that I need to put away. But in just a second, you guys are going to see where I am currently storing all of my Christmas decor. And it is right here in my office, just on the floor. Everything is completely strewn out. And this is what I'm gonna be including in my next video. I'm gonna be putting all of this mess away. This is the first year I decided to do this. Instead of putting things away into bins immediately, I thought I would bring it all to one central location and then put it away at once. Let me know what you guys do down in the comments. Do you like to bring tubs into each room and separate things by room and do it that way? Or do you like to collect all of your stuff and have an organization system that you use for your home decor? Why I think about you, it was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk blurry but i've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now and it could fade away but it probably won't and i should let it be but i'm gonna dive dive into you and maybe i'll drown but what can i do and it would be all right to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch the room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that we will both be lying I wish I did Go 
This is the first round of many rounds of vacuuming that you're gonna see in this video because like I said, you clean, you undecorate, you clean some more, you undecorate some more, you get the idea. But now we're gonna move on to day two and this is when I realized it was going to take a lot longer than I thought to take everything down. I'm starting out by removing a New Year's Eve banner that we had put up on New Year's. And then I'm gonna take everything off the mantle including this garland that is covered in flocking and it made another giant mess pretty much everywhere, including some of the picks that are in the tree that also have flocking. So you're gonna continue to see lots of cleaning as we go along. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. But, but I'm gonna die. I don't really have that many ornaments on the tree and I super noticed this when I started to take the ribbon off the tree and I took the picks out. I feel like the majority of the fullness of the tree came from all of the ribbon and also the picks that I put in there. And these ribbon pieces, I actually did instead of one long piece of ribbon. I know some people like to use just one length of ribbon and they'll tuck it in throughout the tree, but I find it easier to just use small little snippets of ribbon. It makes it a lot easier to take out because then you don't have to get behind your tree, especially since mine's in the corner I only really decorate the front and that's a great way to save money when you're decorating a space if you're using a corner you don't have to decorate the back of it if no one's gonna see it so now I'm just gonna take off the rest of the ornaments and then I'm going to disassemble the tree guys are enjoying this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps out my channel so much I have a goal for 2021 to hit over 3,000 subscribers this year and I know that that's probably a pretty lofty goal considering I also have a full-time job to do along with YouTube but you guys know I love making content for you guys so much so let's help me get to 3,000 subscribers if you're really enjoying this video share it with a friend or a family member and I love and appreciate y'all so much Yeah. Uh -huh.
We are moving on to the tiny bit of decor I had in the bathroom and then I needed to take down everything that was in the kitchen, mostly my tiered tray and then a small shelf that I have hung up on the wall is basically all that I did in here for Christmas. But you guys know that I love decorating these tiered trays so much. And there are a few of these pieces on here that pretty much live on the tray all year round and then I just add in different seasonal decor. So I'm just pulling out the things that are seasonal to put away and then let me know if you guys have any ideas for how I should decorate this for the spring. I remember that I did not have the tear tray for spring last year so I've never decorated one for spring. So if you have a tear tray and you are already starting to think about how you want to decorate it, let me know some of your ideas in the comments. Get all those cold eyes cold looking Or say it bye 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 I don't wanna talk before the moment slowly slips away I can't remember if I've shared this little shelf in a video yet or not so if I haven't then this is a little um, shelf that I got from my mom and I just chalk painted it and just put a few little Christmas mugs and things up there and I already have ideas for how I want to decorate it for the next season but now we're gonna move on to finally putting the Christmas tree away I have a giant Christmas tree bag upstairs that I keep in my attic and so all of the parts of the Christmas trees and all of the garland go in that bag and if you don't have a Christmas tree bag, if you try to shove your trees back in the box, I would highly recommend getting one if you have the space. Just because I think it allows them to breathe a little bit better and also it's all contained in one space. So the flocking and everything is just all in the bag. You can vacuum it out, clean it out. It is so, so nice. You'll see it in a clip in just a little bit. friends here we go with some more vacuuming so if you are in need of some motivation to vacuum today then this is it the pine needles were literally everywhere and I was never so happy to see them gone you hear them calling shouting your name turn up the collar and walk away feels like you're falling now who is to blame wishing you It really feels so empty and bare in my living room and I actually really kind of like it. If you are new to my channel and you haven't seen the way my house looks when there is no Christmas tree in this corner, I usually have this blanket ladder here and I actually have a video for how Jack and I built this so if you're interested I'll link it for you guys. And I usually just keep this over here in the corner with some blankets on it and then I just left a few wintry kind of things out on the fireplace area because I still want it to feel cozy since it's January. In February it's often really cold but that's all I did in here in terms of decorating for now and then I'm gonna start thinking about moving forward towards spring and then the last thing that I'm gonna do in this video is wipe down this TV 
entertainment center. This whole thing got covered in pine needles and flocking too. I'm gonna vacuum out the studio and then that's gonna be it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel because like I said, all of this mess is gonna be gone in my next video. So if you're looking for some organization motivation, then definitely make sure you're subscribed with those bell notifications turned on and I'll see you guys really soon with a new video. Bye guys. Just the